Let me give you a few scriptures. The Lord take him in his way. So I, I just got to give you what he says. He says in Hebrews 10, 23, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Yes. If it's something you're praying for, you pray for it consistently. Never doubt what it is you're asking God for. Because in John 14, 13, he says, And whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he asks anything in my anything, anything in my name, I will do. He said, ask for anything in his name. And he will do it. He goes on to say in Mark 11, 24, Therefore I say unto you, what thing, whatever things you desire when you pray, whatever you desire when you pray, whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. You tell, now this is the Bible. You tell me, Lord, I can have whatever I desire. There's some stuff I want. He said, if you ask for it, believe you receive it. He said, you can have it. Matthew 7 and 7. Ask it shall be given. Seek ye shall find not, and the door shall be open. Psalm 37 and 4. Take the light in the Lord, and he will give you the desire. He'll give me what I want. Not just what I need, but what I want. So my question, why are you in the situation you're in right now? All right, all right. Mm -hmm. This ought to do something to your spirit when you go home. Why am I in the shape I'm in when God said he'll give me whatever I desire? If I only ask and believe and have faith, he'll give me what I don't got to get this. He'll give you what you desire. I can prove it to you. Because he's just that kind of God. Amen. The things you really want, that's what your, your emphasis is. That's what you really pray for. And nine times out of ten, you get it. Amen. But see, this other stuff, you don't think that you know, God really going to do it. You're not sure, so you don't pray about it. And then you get scared when you pray and say, well, Lord, no, if it be your will, you know what his will is. His will said, if you ask for it, I'll give it to you. Stop being so scared. When you serve a God that you say can do anything but fail. I serve a God that says high and lift low. He got a cow on a thousand here. Don't be free to all stay fool. <laughs> Lord, help me. <laughs> Shouldn't nobody be home. Oh, Jesus. I don't care if it's a folk down the street. Come to my house. I got some. You say you believe in this God, but you really don't exercise your faith. Yes. 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 There's no need for us to be in a bad situation because God is there and he'll do whatever we ask him to do. But just in case the devil does come, guess what? We got something for that in his insurance. He said in verse 14 that I will deliver him. That's what God says. I'll deliver you. He goes on to say, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. So just in case you fall on hard times, guess what? God will get into trouble with you. If you don't believe it, go ask Daniel when he was in the line there. God came in there and shut the lion's jaw. If you don't believe it, you ask the Hebrew boys when they were in the fire of furnace. I believe they said we put three in, but it looked like four and the four will look
Lord have mercy. And he got me out of there. I never went back to go try to tell somebody. God was in that trouble just because he loved you. Amen. Didn't know I had Thank to be you. here. 